Hello, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about Axis camera and bitrate or bandwidth. So I'm going to teach you how to measure bandwidth on Axis cameras. As you can see, I have my Axis on the screen via web browser. This is the Axis P1365 Mark II. And I have the bitrate the camera is using right now, uh, around 400 kbps. Okay, so I have this information just on my screen. There are different ways you can measure the bandwidth for Axis cameras. So let me just show you here how I'm doing this with the bitrate. I'm just using an overlay. As you can see, I have the text on the screen and that's done by this overlay option here. When I come to the text, I have the text on the screen. This is for the first text here related to date and time. That's not the one. And this one is the text related to the bitrate. Okay, when I click here, there's this option to use variables on the Axis cameras. So here is basically the text, bitrate, and then a variable that represents the bandwidth and the text kbps, okay? I'm mean, just remove this one and create from scratch so you can see how it works. Basically, you just come here to Axis camera, men setting menus, overlay, and you create a new overlay. You click here and choose text, click create, and then you're gonna use here the three dots to search for the variables that you want, in this case, bitrate. You click here, you have a lot of modifiers here. And then you just need to input here bit, and then it's gonna show you the bitrate information, okay? The bitrate variable that you can use. So you have the option for a bitrate in kilobits per second without decimals and bitrate in megabits per second with two decimals. I'm gonna choose the first one and I input a text before it, like a bit rate that represents my bit rate hit create and here we go we have the text here i just can drag and drop whatever i want and here we go we have the information for the bit rate but it's still missing something you see this it's just a number there i don't know the unit so i can come back and just input whatever i want here as a text like kbps so it's basically working now. Let me just move a little bit here. Here we go. So the camera is just right here, close to me. And when I start moving my hand around the camera, of course the bitrate is going sky high because now it's using motion. You see, reached more than 6,000 kbps. So that's one way you can measure a bandwidth on Axis camera, but you need to be careful with something, okay? The camera right now is showing you the video stream that you're getting from this web browser. When I come here to my software that I can measure a bandwidth, it's a network software, I see that I have more than the camera is using because the software shows like application by application, okay, the bandwidth usage. And here I see that Google Chrome is using 400 something, why, with, with match what the, what the camera is showing here around, right? Give it a take. But here I have something else. The VLC player, for example, was showing something here. Not showing anymore for some reason. Let me just come here and bring VLC player, see what's going on. Okay, I was using a camera stream here. Not using it anymore. Let me just click again and bring a video stream again from this camera, okay? So here we go. I'm getting a video stream from the Axis camera via RTSP on my VLC video player. Now I have this web browser here in the background using bandwidth and this VLC player using the bandwidth, right? If I don't pay attention, if I just take a look here on this information, I'm gonna think that I'm using like half megabits per second or around 500 kbps, but I'm not, I'm using more than that, right? Because I'm using here for Google Chrome and I'm using here bandwidth for the VLC player, you see? And I can even check here on VLC player where this, where the VLC player is connected to, right? So here you can see that's connected to the camera. Here I have the camera IP address and the port number for our TSP protocol 554. And here the video stream on the port uh, 50,000, okay, around 500K. So now I have the correct information that I'm using bandwidth from my active camera here and for the Google Chrome here. 
So it's double this value here that I should see on the screen. So be careful with that because your camera could be streaming for a different software and you don't see it, okay? Another way you can check is by using uh, the task manager. So if you come here to your task manager performance, you can check here the Ethernet usage and you see what's being used on your computer. But here, just be careful as well because it's it's in general, everything that's being used by your computer. So you need to kill any other connections to any other application to make sure you're measuring just for your access camera. So everything that's coming from the camera to the computer is going to be shown here, okay? So around here, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the division is one one megabits per second, right? So around one megabit per second here of bandwidth that we are using right now. That's because you have VLC and the web browser working at the same time here. Okay, so you have double this value, right? So be careful with this thing. Make sure you're measuring the correct way. There's also different ways to measure like SNMP, for example. That's the topic for another video, but right now you have an idea how to measure and you also can use this software and network software that works pretty well. I was NetLimiter 4. Okay, you can have uh, different soft that you use on a network just to measure bandwidth. And that's it, all right? So guys, that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. And I see you in the next one.